Hello and welcome to the Seth Joyner Show presented by Bankroll. If you're not entertained by this Philadelphia Eagles football team at this point, you might need to get your pulse checked. The birds are flying high after dominating the Giants in the divisional round of the 2022 NFL playoffs. What a performance by this team in all three phases of the game, as well as by this coaching staff. The Giants rolled into Lincoln Financial Field last Saturday night with visions of a W. And after an eight-place, 75-yard drive to start the game, essentially, it was all over. For all the hope, belief, and confidence that the Giants strolled in with, in short order, Jalen Hurts and this staunch defense administered a reality check reverberating throughout this Giants organization probably over the entire 2023 offseason. It's time for my bankroll breakdown. I'm certain after their win versus the third seed Minnesota Vikings in the wildcard round, the G-men thought that they could duplicate their offensive output versus the number one seed Philadelphia Eagles. So after winning the coin toss, they deferred, giving the Birds first possession of the game. Jalen Hurts and this Eagles offense went on a scoring tear with four scoring drives on the first five possessions of the first half. Eight possessions, 75 yards. Eight plays, 52 yards. Nine plays, 63 yards. And 14 plays, 72 yards. This game was all but over. Hurts was fine on all cylinders to start the game. He was 12 for 17 for 118 yards, a long pass of 40 yards to Devontae Smith, two passing TDs, and a 129 rating. The run game was also on full display. 26 carries for 140 yards. That's 5.4 yards per carry and two rushing touchdowns in the first half alone. Sanders led the way with 13 carries for 75 yards. With a 28-0 lead, the O-line and the running backs churned out another 128 yards in the second half. Kenneth Gainwell, nine carries for 90 yards in the second half alone. For a grand total of 44 carries for 268 yards and three rushing touchdowns. The passing game was of little necessity Saturday night in the second half. And if this offense continues to produce at this level, the question will be, how? Can they be beat? As dominant as the offense was, the defense may have been even more dominant. I'm not sure what bulletin board material was posted, but Hassan Reddick was not too happy about what the Giants had to say midweek last week. He and this entire defensive unit were on a seek and destroy mission. As good as Daniel Jones and that offense looked against the Minnesota Vikings the week before, they were made to look as equally inept versus this Eagles D. The Giants netted 64 total first half yards alone. 20 of those yards came on the ground. And by the way, Daniel Jones led the way with 13 of those 20 yards. And Jones was 6 for 10 for 57 yards. It was 1 for 5 on third down conversions. One fantastic interception by James Bradbury. And he was sacked two times. Although the Eagles defense yielded a third quarter touchdown on a Matt Breda run, That was all the hapless Giants could muster. And anytime the special teams are not mentioned, it's a good thing. It speaks to an eventless outing for that unit. This was about a complimentary game in all three phases as the Eagles could have put together. But in typical fashion, these birds looked at a 38-7 victory with a critical eye towards extrapolating and identifying the negatives and mistakes for correction rather than celebrating the positives. It's all good, gents. We know you guys are still hungry for more, but your fans will enjoy the appetizers while you guys continue to hunt your second course, a San Francisco treat. That's my bankroll breakdown. Coming up next, I'll take a little deeper dive into the NFC Championship matchup versus the San Francisco 49. Bankroll at 19th and Chestnut, Center City, Philadelphia, redefines the sports bar experience for the modern invested fan. Bridgeview Partners Strategic IT Consulting and Services saving clients money and time by optimizing enterprise systems for over 10 years now. If you're an IT professional, what are you waiting for? Contact the very experienced team at Bridgeview Partners. These guys have an awesome reputation in the Philadelphia market for their thought leadership, specializing in infrastructure optimization and IT service management for healthcare, retail, finance organizations, and many others. Go to bridgeviewpartners.com to learn more and go Eagles! This car is a steal. 
Hey, Seth, let's do a deal and I'll throw in this great gift. <laughs> Is that the way you used to buy a car? Forget about it. Get to Davis Honda in Burlington. Davis Honda has over 300 pre-owned vehicles right now. Come see why Davis Honda won Best of Burlington six years in a row. I'm Seth Joyner, and I drive a Davis Honda. Seth, Caitlin, you forgot your great gift. <laughs> Birds fans, if you understand that success is built on trusted relationships and reliable performance, Mint Penn Bank is the right bank for you. We're on a mission to prove that the right bankers can make a big difference and work harder for you. With financial centers strategically located to serve the greater Philadelphia area, we are ready to bring you the best in commercial and personal banking. Visit midpenbank.com or call the number on your screen. Mint Penn Bank, the right bank for you. Member FDIC. Go Eagles! Former Eagles linebacker Seth Joyner here to tell you about Artie Clear kitchens, baths, drywall, and roofing. For kitchens and bathrooms, roofing, windows, and other home improvement needs, call my friend Artie Clear. Get 100% no money down financing with payments as low as $59 per month. The first 59 calls will also receive a $400 discount on their first order. And if you're a senior citizen, double. Look for Artie's ad in the Metro. Call today, Artie Clear kitchens, baths, drywall, and roofing. For over 20 years now, Strategic Sports Marketing has been a leader in the sports industry. With deep relationship among athletes and companies of all sizes, SSM knows what it takes to build effective partnerships. They've been helping me for 15 years now. From speaking engagements and endorsement deals to special guest appearances and much more, no budget is considered too small. And check out SSM's sister company at sportsballshop.com where you'll find everything for your gift-giving needs. Keep an eye out for upcoming coupon codes exclusive to the Seth Joyner Show. Welcome back. The Philadelphia Eagles are on the doorstep of another Lombardi Trophy, having provided us a taste of the thrill of victory in 2017 after 57 years of the agony of defeat. This week, there's only one team that stands in the way of the opportunity to send this city of brotherly love into a frenzy in a shuffle down Broad Street once again. That's the San Francisco 49ers. In my opinion, the 49ers are the best coach and most complete football team that the Eagles will have faced all season. 2022's draft, Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy, has been relevant to the success of the 49ers' run to Sunday's NFC title game. He's won seven games down the stretch for the 49ers, including a wild card and a divisional round win against the Cowboys last week. Purdy is averaging 24 passes a game, 195 yards, He's amassed 13 touchdowns versus only four interceptions over that seven-game span that he started. He has one of the most complete running backs in Christian McCaffrey, who is a threat to take it the distance every single time that he touches the ball. A top three tight end in George Kittles and one of the most versatile wide receivers in Debo Samuel. The offensive line is probably the second-best offensive line behind the Eagles' old line. The talent around him provides Kyle Shanahan the luxury of not needing him to carry the team. He has performed thus far like a veteran, poised, decisive, and ready for the moment. Although his starts in the last two games have been a bit shaky, credit Shanahan with adjusting the game plan by implementing the run game in the second half to relieve the stress of passing only when he needs to. That chink in his armor, the pressure, the finality, the hostility that he'll face at Lincoln Financial Field in the NFC title game will be the telltale test for this kid. The major concern facing the 49ers team is how to deal with San Francisco's passing attack between the hash marks. Will Gannon have the same confidence in his quarterbacks to get up and challenge the Niners wide receivers at the line of scrimmage as he did last week? Can he mix up his cornerback alignments if they play man outside technique all day, the slot, tight end, and running backs, they'll have a tough, tough time covering and chasing these guys all over the field. After struggling through the first half versus the Cowboys, Shanahan decided to come out and run the ball in the second half. The success of the running game opened up the passing game in the middle of the field for RPOs and play action passes. The juggling catch by Kittles and the fourth and three conversion on the slant by McCaffrey were huge plays in last week's game. TJ Edwards, Gardner Johnson, hopefully Maddox, and Kazir White are going to have to read, react, and take away the quick inside routes. Lastly, the Birds ranked 16th versus the run, giving up 121 yards per game. 
No doubt the 49ers will come in with the intent to establish the run game to set up the pass. It's time for Cox, Hargrave, Sue, Linville Joseph, and Jordan Davis to assert themselves and shut down this 49ers rushing attack and force Brock Purdy to be the hero in this game. Defensively, what makes this 49ers defense so dynamic is they have playmakers on all three levels, DBs, linebackers, and defensive line. And I believe the cornerbacks are probably gettable. They rank second versus the run, yielding only 79 yards per game. So the birds will have to resolve to commit to the running game and not get discouraged by short games early. They also rank 19th versus the pass, giving up 222 yards per game. This is what scares me. If I know this information, I know the Eagles staff and analytical department also knows this information as well. The Birds coaching staff at times have elected to attack an opponent's strength rather than their weaknesses at the beginning of the games. I believe that the Eagles O-line and D-line can match, if not supersede the O-line and D-line of the 49ers, but they cannot make themselves one-dimensional by giving up on the run. Jalen Hurts' ability to hand the ball off or keep it and run on every play will be key. Nick Bosa is a top-flight defensive end, but I like to see them slow him down by attacking him like Shane Steichen did Micah Parsons the first Cowboys game. Put him in conflict with RPOs and read options with Dallas Goddard coming across the formation as the ball is snapped will require quick decisions, making fast, aggressive players think and slow down and frustrate them. Whether they establish the run or not, it's a big part of how and why Hertz will be able to get the pass game on track. The strength of this secondary is the safeties. The cornerbacks, in my opinion, are the weak link. But Hertz is going to need time to push the ball down the field. Combo routes versus zone teams can stress a secondary. Bait in front of the linebackers should allow Hertz the opportunity to take advantage of holes in the zone and connect on passes behind the linebackers. Lastly, in games like this, field position and turnovers are game changers. The birds will need to take care of the football while trying to create turnovers for the offense. Coming up after this break, Brad Feinberg joins me to chat Niners versus Birds, Bengals versus Chiefs, some prop bets and game bets for the NFC AFC Championship Sunday. Special thanks to our show sponsor, Bridgeview Partners. Bridgeview Partners specialize in IT service management and helping businesses separate from their competition. Go to bridgeviewpartners.com and let them know that Seth Joyner sent you. This car is a steal. Hey, Seth, let's do a deal and I'll throw in this great gift. <laughs> is that the way you used to buy a car? Forget about it. Get to Davis Honda in Burlington. Davis Honda has over 300 pre-owned vehicles right now. Come see why Davis Honda won Best of Burlington six years in a row. I'm Seth Joyner and I drive a Davis Honda. Seth, Caitlin, you forgot your great gift. <laughs> For over 20 years now, Strategic Sports Marketing has been a leader in the sports industry. With deep relationship among athletes and companies of all sizes, SSM knows what it takes to build effective partnerships. They've been helping me for 15 years now. From speaking engagements and endorsement deals to special guest appearances and much more, no budget is considered too small. And check out SSM's sister company at sportsballshop.com where you'll find everything for your gift giving needs. Keep an eye out for upcoming coupon codes exclusive to the Seth Joyner Show. Mandrakia Law, attorneys you can trust, we get results. When you need an attorney, you need an experienced trial lawyer who will never settle for less, who's not afraid to try your case, will fight for you and keep you informed. Charles Mandrakia and the team at Mandrakia Law have decades of experience. They are ethical but aggressive. Personal injury, DUI or DWI, commercial or civil litigation, criminal defense, experience matters. Visit the website mmattorneys.com and remember the name. Mandrakia Law, attorneys you can trust, we get results. Bridgeview Partners Strategic IT Consulting and Services saving clients money and time by optimizing enterprise systems for over 10 years now. If you're an IT professional, what are you waiting for? Contact a very experienced team at Bridgeview Partners. These guys have an awesome reputation in the Philadelphia market for their thought leadership, specializing in infrastructure optimization and IT service management for healthcare, retail, finance organizations, and many others. Go to bridgeviewpartners.com to learn more and go Eagles! 
Birds fans, if you understand that success is built on trusted relationships and reliable performance, Mid Penn Bank is the right bank for you. We're on a mission to prove that the right bankers can make a big difference and work harder for you. With financial centers strategically located to serve the greater Philadelphia area, we are ready to bring you the best in commercial and personal banking. Visit midpenbank.com or call the number on your screen. Mid Penn Bank, the right bank for you. Member FDIC. Go Eagles! Welcome back. It's AFC NFC title week. Brad Feinberg is here to help with your betting tips and to analyze the upcoming matchups. Brad, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, I can't wait. This is going to be you know, two. I think, Seth, these are the four best teams. I think they're going to be two really good games. I can't wait. All right. Now, so now, you know, give me some thoughts on last week's divisional rounds. I thought we found out, Seth, I thought the Buffalo defense was crazy overrated all year. I thought they were the most overrated team in all of pro football. I think the Bengals showed that. I think the Eagles showed, Seth, they're in a totally different class than what the Giants were. Again, as I said, I think these are the four best teams. So the Eagles had a, a relatively easy game versus the Giants. The Niners, on the other hand, you know, a physical, mentally mm -hmm. emotional battle um, versus the Cowboys. How does that bow for the Eagles rolling into this week? Look, I like Philadelphia here, Seth. To me, in my opinion, I think Philadelphia – is a slightly better version of what San Francisco does. They both have probably, you look at it, the best skilled players in football are on these two teams, right? Or right up there. But I think Philadelphia's skilled players are even a little bit better. And the difference to me, Seth, is the quarterback. Philadelphia has a dynamic player there. San Francisco has a, a steady player, a player who's been solid, but not a, a difference maker, in my opinion. And then you look at San Francisco, their defensive line has caused havoc to almost every team they faced. They're facing a team that's the best offense line in the sport, Seth. I think that's going to be a difference. And I think what Philadelphia does a nice job doing, Seth, I think they know who they're playing. What I mean by that is if there's a team they feel like they can't run the ball against them, they don't try to run the ball 40 times. If they feel like they can pick on you via the air, that's what they're going to do. Or if they feel like they can run on you like Green Bay and New York, that's what they're going to do. I expect them to use the pass this week. I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. The over-under, Seth, is 45 and a half. I expect it to go under that. Uh, I think Philadelphia wins the game by about a touchdown. I think it'll be lower scoring, 20 to 14, 21, 13 in that, in that realm. Anything you see that the Burrs can exploit um, against this team this week with this young quarterback? Um, you know the Kyle Shanahan is very good at making adjustments. So whatever hay you're going to make, you better make it in the first half, in my opinion. Yeah, look, I think, Seth, that makes total sense. Look, Kyle Shanahan is a great coach. I, I will not take that away from him. And they have really good skill players. But I think the Philadelphia defense, Seth, they, look, they have look, they four guys. I mean, even with the teams that you played on, which was, in my opinion, the best defense of all time, I don't think you guys have read four guys that had 10 sacks on the defense line as great as you guys were. Having four guys with double digit sacks, and that's not even including Fletcher Cox, who I think had another eight. I just think it's going to be tough sledding for this San Francisco team, which is why I like the under. I don't expect them to have a ton of success. I think Purdy is a nice player, a, a competent player. And if you had changed quarterbacks in that game last week against Dallas, Dallas would have won that game with Brock Purdy because he hasn't made mistakes. But the reason, as I said, I think Hurts is a playmaker. Okay, Dak is not a playmaker. Hurts is. I think he'll make a couple extra plays. Very physical, very tough game. I expect it to be nip and tuck. I think Philadelphia is good enough to win this game by about a touchdown. Okay, so let's jump over to the AFC. The Chiefs have lost to the Bengals three times in a row, including a loss this year and the AFC cha championship last year. Is there some psychological block by the Chiefs when it comes to this Bengals team? And do they really have the upper hand having won the last three games in a row? All three of those games, Seth, they either were in overtime or came down to the last play. So I just think it was kind of like three coin flips in a row that all went against Kansas City. Now, this game is a good lesson, Seth. Okay, this line opened at Kansas City minus three. I thought it would come in right around one. I grabbed Cincinnati plus three immediately. This line is now flipped. Cincinnati, Seth, is now minus two. Now, this is an interesting game. Like, if Mahomes had been healthy, fully healthy, there's no question in my mind they'd be laying at least a field goal. But with him hobbled, this line is really switched. Um, look, I don't think there's going to be any uh, psychological edge for Cincinnati knowing that they've beaten this team. I think, in my opinion, Kansas City is like, look, we just barely lost this team three times in a row. We know what we have to do. I'm going to lean here to taking Kansas City, Seth, plus the two points, even though I took, again, I take numbers, not teams. Um, I think the game is closer to a 50-50 game. You want to give me two points in a coin flip? This is the kind of game that can be a one or two point game. 
So Burrow is one cool dude under pressure. Um, nothing seems to rattle him. Dude just plays, you know, um, with a lesser offensive line than most teams, most quarterbacks have had to deal with. Um, how did the Chiefs get to Burrow um, when they really only have one or two, you know, really, really good pass rushes? Here's the thing to me, Seth. Buffalo had no pass rushers. And I watched that team all year. Once they lost Von Miller, they had nothing. I respectfully disagree with you in Kansas City because I actually think Jones and Clark both have the ability to get to him. Now, what makes Burrow so good, Seth? Look, it's like, I, the reason I stink when I play John Madden football, I would look at the screen, I'd get discombobulated, be like, I'm comparing John Madden to a real game. I get it. But conceptually, it's still somewhat seen. The, the game didn't process fast enough for me. I, I mean, it was too fast for me. Joe Burrow processes things immediately. It comes, Peyton Manning was the same way. It just comes to him so quickly. So for him, he has the ability to read defenses and get rid of the ball very quickly. It's either you have that ability, that native ability, you don't. He has it. But I do think in a game like this, I actually do think, Seth, Kansas City's defense line will give Cincinnati trouble. I didn't think Buffalo would, and I thought that was the hidden area that last week's where they, people were not factoring in because I didn't think Buffalo had the defense line. I think both Clark uh, can do it uh, and Chris Jones, and I think Kansas City will have a lot more success defensively than we saw last week with Buffalo. All right, Brad. So Boston Scott is about a sure thing for any time um, touchdown <laughs> um, prop versus the not Giants. Give me your top four. You know I always need a, I need four every week for my four-way parlay, man. Well, four-way parlay, geez, that's a new one. I would say I like the Philadelphia Seth laying two and a half. Um, I like uh, under 45 and a half in the Eagles game. I guess, Seth, I'm going to take Kansas City. You could take them with the money line, probably getting around plus $1.15 right now. And I'll take over 47 points in that game. That'll be the four-way parlay. Uh, and hopefully it wins. And hopefully the Eagles win. And we're talking about the Eagles Super Bowl uh, against either uh, you know Kansas City or uh, Cincinnati. All right, my friend. Thanks. Hope to see you next week for another huge week um, leading up to Super Bowl 57. Me too, Seth. And again, hopefully I have some good props next week as well for the big game. Awesome. Awesome. Coming up, my final thoughts and predictions for both title conference championships. This segment is sponsored by Davis Honda. I drive a Davis Honda and you should too. Birds fans, if you understand that success is built on trusted relationships and reliable performance, Mid Penn Bank is the right bank for you. We're on a mission to prove that the right bankers can make a big difference and work harder for you. With financial centers strategically located to serve the greater Philadelphia area, we are ready to bring you the best in commercial and personal banking. Visit midpenbank.com or call the number on your screen. Mid Penn Bank, the right bank for you. Member FDIC. Go Eagles! Bridgeview Partners Strategic IT Consulting and Services saving clients money and time by optimizing enterprise systems for over 10 years now. If you're an IT professional, what are you waiting for? Contact the very experienced team at Bridgeview Partners. These guys have an awesome reputation in the Philadelphia market for their thought leadership, specializing in infrastructure optimization and IT service management for healthcare, retail, finance organizations, and many others. Go to bridgeviewpartners.com to learn more and go Eagles! Mandrakia Law. Attorneys you can trust, we get results. When you need an attorney, you need an experienced trial lawyer who will never settle for less, who's not afraid to try your case, will fight for you and keep you informed. Charles Mandrakia and the team at Mandrakia Law have decades of experience. They are ethical but aggressive. Personal injury, DUI or DWI, commercial or civil litigation, criminal defense, experience matters. Visit the website mmattorneys.com and remember the name. Mandrakia Law. Attorneys you can trust, we get results. Former Eagles linebacker Seth Joyner here to tell you about Artie Clear kitchens, baths, drywall, and roofing. For kitchens and bathrooms, roofing, windows, and other home improvement needs, call my friend Artie Clear. Get 100% no money down financing with payments as low as $59 per month. The first 59 calls will also receive a $400 discount on their first order. And if you're a senior citizen, double. Look for Artie's ad in the Metro. Call today, Artie Clear kitchens, baths, drywall, and roofing. This car is a steal. Hey, Seth, let's do a deal and I'll throw in this great gift. <laughs> is that the way you used to buy a car? Forget about it. 
Get to Davis Honda in Burlington. Davis Honda has over 300 pre-owned vehicles right now. Come see why Davis Honda won Best of Burlington six years in a row. I'm Seth Joyner, and I drive a Davis Honda. Seth, Caitlin, you forgot your great gift. <laughs> Welcome back. After a long season, all things point to Sunday at 3 p.m. at Lincoln Financial Field. The Eagles have had a remarkable, tremendous 2022 season. But like the fans of this great city, nothing less than a chip would be a major disappointment considering the monumental leap and success of this season. That being said, the 49ers are a formidable opponent. They're well coached, very talented, and disciplined. But they do not possess any of the aforementioned traits any more than the Philadelphia Eagles do. At some point in this game on Sunday, the reality of the moment will set in for Purdy. We watched him look shaky and rattled the last two weeks under pressure. Hertz, on the other hand, is the model of calm, cool, and collected. The best two teams all year in the NFC were the Niners and the Eagles. How fitting that it comes down to these two in the NFC title game. In my opinion, I believe that Jalen Hurts will be the difference in this game. It's hard to account for the quarterback in all phases of the offensive scheme. Similar to the Dallas game, I expect this to be another low-scoring affair. Both defenses will be stingy, and the real game begins at the start of the second half. Whoever can make the adjustment best will win this game. I see the Eagles advancing to Super Bowl 57, no surprise, 17-21. to on the AFC side, Joe Burrow and company seem to have Kansas City's number. Patrick Mahomes with a high ankle sprain does little to help the matter as well. If Cincy had any kind of O-line, they'd be a juggernaut. Burrow has weapons all over the field, and if you can't get him down quickly, he's going to make a play. Can Mahomes be the Mahomes Kansas City needs him to be? That's the big question. This is such a tough game to pick because unknown variables are at play. I'd rather see Mahomes and Andy Reid in the Super Bowl, to be honest with you. What a story that would be. The way Cincy went into Buffalo and demoralized the Bills, I prefer an unhealthy Kansas City than the Peking Bengals. Then again, I take any team with the chip at stake. The Bengals, in my opinion, win this game 24-21 to on a late field goal. That's the show for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully I'll be back next week, joyously that is, to look back on the birds advancing to Super Bowl 57 and break down and prep you for the big game two weeks later in Glendale, Arizona on February 12th. Have an awesome week and good night, Philly.